Hello, I'm Chip Sullivan. And I'm Elizabeth Boltz, and we are the authors of a new Wiley book entitled Illustrated History of Landscape Design. We're underneath the rotunda at the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco, and this is a great place to talk about landscape history, everything from the style of architecture to the idea of this being a site for an international exposition. For the last 10 years, Chip and I have been leading summer study abroad programs. And what we've observed is just how much students learned and how much their interest was sparked by looking at these great historical achievements. And their love for history, you know, kind of infused us or sparked our own desire to create a document that would inspire and excite uh, the reader with their own historical journey and that they would come away from that enjoying history as much as we enjoyed producing this book. So I think one of the really cool aspects of the book is the way it's organized. It's organized in centuries so that you can see cross-culturally what gardens around the world or what landscape design, what was happening at precise times in history. And I think the other important topic is that we introduce each century with a timeline so that you can see not only what's happening in the design world, but what's happening politically, scientifically, and artistically, so that it puts the, the history of landscape design into a context. We started this book project a couple years ago. I was asked to teach a history of landscape architecture class and it was a big general ed class with hundreds of students and I just felt that the textbooks that were out there weren't really appropriate for this type of student population. At the same time Chip was doing a series of comic strips for Landscape Architecture magazine and since it's a very visual culture students learn through images we thought why not put these two together and create a visual history of landscape design. What sets this book apart is its graphic orientation. It's really focused on the images. In addition, it has a very broad cultural context, so students can really understand the whole spectrum of history in which these projects are situated. The, the book is perfect for any classes in the history of landscape architecture, any classes devoted to theory and design, I think we also tried to make a focus where it could be used in, in the classroom, in the design studio. It could be used as a reference. You know, we also felt too that, uh, you know, people interested in landscape architecture, they could look through it and find, you know, a plethora of ideas to, uh, you know, enrich their design process. It was so much fun working on this book. It truly was a collaborative effort and we hope that our work captures the enthusiasm and the passion that we have for gardens. It truly was a labor of love.